Right. How's your food, then? Did it hit the spot? Yes, I it. Listen, Adam, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't spend that time with you that I should have. Nah, you've got a waiting to sort out and a business to run. You think I'm making excuses? You are. All right, I am. I let you down, that's not good enough, OK? This is me apologising. Well, say something, then. I mean, you didn't hold back yesterday. Like what? Well, how, how you feel about what I've just said? Fine. Can I go now? And how many times have you been up to see him in the last six months? You're his father. You're responsible for him. I've just been on the phone to his headmaster. How responsible is that? And? Oh, two weeks suspension. Calling off blue. I don't suppose they're knocking off the bill. So what are we going to do, then? Yeah, come and stay with me. I won't let him forget it. And hang on. He wants to stop with us. Tough. Oh, that's really going to win him over that. That's fantastic. When I was his age, I was earning more than my dad. Stop talking about him as if he was a kid. You sent him to boarding school. How can you expect him to turn out like you? That's fair. Whoever said that life was fair? Oh, maybe losing his mum didn't make that clear enough. Well, there endeth the first lesson. I'll tell you what, Mike, don't you worry about your son. I'll sort it out. What's your problem? And why can't Joe sort it out? No, there, there's no problem, Mr Baldwin. Adam's been telling me about this school of his. How much do you think that's costing Mike? I won't let a child of mine be apart from me for a million quid. Hey, love, uh, where's Adam? Oh, he's upstairs. How'd it go with Mike? Oh, not too good. Listen, uh, Bev, uh, you've not given the nod to that job yet, have you? Um, Mum's not made her mind up yet, have you? Why, have you got a better offer? Well, and I just thought now Adam's going to be around for a bit longer, it'd be good to have you here, if, if that's agreeable with you, Shell. Well, I wasn't going to go that quick, whatever I decide. Well, why? Well, what's going on? Oh, it's Mike Baldwin's been his usual pig-headed self. The last thing that Adam needs now is being packed off to his place. Do you know what? I can't keep nipping out like this. Sally will be going up the wall. All right, all right. You, you get back and I'll... All right, love. Hey, mate. You OK? What's up? Uh, you've been talking about me to my dad. Well, we had a chat, that's all. Oh, yeah, behind my back. And after all that this morning. I can't believe you. Adam! I think I must be losing my touch, love. Well, if it helps, I think I know what he's on about. Well, there are times when I think you're too busy for me, I know. Yeah? But sometimes we've got to remember what's important. Yeah. And I think that's what Adam's trying to do. And he's got a really, really clumsy way of showing it because of his age. I think you might be right there, love. Don't make it sound like it's a first. Forget you. Hey, I want you to listen to me. Well, but have I got a choice? Look. I said things are going to be different, didn't I, eh? And what else did I say? I said that family comes first. Yeah, right. And you're part of the family. You know, you're part of Susan. Or oh, what Mum wouldn't want us to fall out, is that it? Well, we don't know what she'd want, do we? Because she's not here, is she? But what I do know is that me and your granddad miss her. And you're the closest thing we've got to being with her. So, you know, when we fall out, it hurts. Look, mate, if you're unhappy, you know, getting drunk is not an answer, OK? So I want you to ring me in the future, and who knows, look, you know, I might even have something worthwhile saying, OK? I think his dad wants to chip in. No, not really, I'm just off to town. Uh, how does a trip down the shops on me plastic tempt you? No, thanks. I don't want to be seen in my flash car, is that it? Why are you turning up now? I've had five minutes alone with you. I'd hardly call that quality time. Can Peter come? Oh, no, I don't think that's a very good idea. Well, I'm not forcing you. Look, why does it have to be such a big deal? I think you two could do with quality time and all. Let's not get carried away. Well. Yeah, OK, right, if, if, if that's what you want. Yeah. Come on, then, before I change my mind. Be good. <laughs> 